Hi guys, today I will show you how to make gold filled stud earrings. Here is the list of materials that you will need for this project. First, I start with the circles. I'm using calipers to draw circles on the piece of paper. I'm making sure that I get the right size for this project. I want them to be medium size. Now that I like the size, I'll finish drawing, cut the paper and stick it onto the double-sided tape. Then I just cut it all out. I like to have the shape cut out precisely so I don't have to cover too much of the metal. Just like that. Time to position the bench bag and start sewing. I'm keeping the saw in one position and I'm using my second hand to hold and turn the metal as I go. You can check out my videos about sewing where I shared some useful tips how to sew. See the right top corner. Once the circles are cut out, I will file and smooth out the edges using files and emery sticks. You can use this step to fix the shape if circles aren't perfectly round. Now it's time to make your ear posts. You can make them with gold filled wire or use ready made ones if you're short with time. Making ear posts is very easy. Simply straighten the wire and cut to the size, then file and polish to make the edges smooth. Now it's time to solder. Soldering gold filled metal is slightly different than silver and you'll see that in a second. I'm using solid gold solder. I buy it at Cookson Gold. I cut it directly to the flux in the dish so it doesn't get lost. Small pieces, about 2-3 mm are fine for this project. I'm adding flux onto the metal. And I put the ear post in the tweezers on the third hand. Now I need to position it well and put it in the center. I then move solder pieces to a soldering block. I melt the solder, pick it up with solder pick and position where the ear posts are touching the metal. Now be very careful here. When soldering gold field, you are not heating up the entire piece, but only the area that will be soldered. It's important not to overheat it, so point the torch very carefully and remove the flame if needed. And use small flame. Then quench and pickle as usual, but make sure to use separate pickle solution. Don't mix your metals in the pickle, especially silver. Now clean and dry your earrings. Now, with the ear post attached, it's easier to file and polish, so I'm using ring clamp to hold the earring and work on it. Smoothing the edges, rounding it up a bit more and sanding. Work on both sides of your earrings. Now it's time to polish and I'm using rotary tool with different bits for this job but you can use wet and dry or polishing papers if you don't have the hand tool. And there you go, ready gold filled stud earrings. Make sure you wash them after all jobs are finished. Attach butterflies and they are ready to wear. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you leave the comment below and subscribe. Take care and I will see you in the next video, bye!